Welcome, um, Aries. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares, and surprise. Aries, Aries, Aries. Very soon, whatever you're asking for, very soon, Aries. Very soon, this is going to be happening, all right? So I see a lot of you, Aries, was open for some sort of a relationship or someone to return in your life. This could be happening very soon, maybe in this month or after this month. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is the month of December reading. Um, it is an accumulation of reading, but each and every zodiac sign have their own 10 minutes reading. If you'd like to see the extended of this reading, use the link in order to get um, to the website and you can pick up uh, the extended of this reading. So very soon, and the energy of very soon has to do um, with, uh, um, uh, you know, clearly decide what it is that you want. Clearly decide what it is that you want. A lot of you, I see you want to be in a relationship with an, um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person, but it is not the person for you, okay? Um, you are connected with air sign. Your best relationship and friendship is with air sign. A lot of people like to go with earth sign people, but I see this is like a movement because you want to have some sort of a new start in your life. So who are you dealing with? And who is this um, going to be affecting? So I see um, you are going to be um, dealing with... Uh, um, the scorpions and some friends that has invaded your relationship. A lot of you are going to be dealing with a Leo and a Taurus. Um, uh, I see um, a lot of you could be dealing with a Capricorn man and woman. Um, or if you're in a relationship with a Capricorn man, this person is in love with a... Um, or if you're in love with a earth sign person they are in love with a earth sign person themselves too so i see your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true that is in the basis of your reading um a offer is going to be coming in i see um your wishes and dreams is going to be happening so the energy of very soon is letting you know that whatever you are hoping for it is going to be happening very soon and i see that this is uh, um, going to be wonderful uh, a wonderful alignment of energy I should say is coming out uh, so what we see is happening is that some of you Aries are going to be having some sort of a conflict with friends that invaded your relationship or um, that is coming up and I see some of you are going to be having some sort of a conflict in situation with a Leo or a Taurus but you're going to be overcoming this so I see some of you could have been in love with a Taurus and uh, you're going to be overcoming this. I see you want to know what is their feelings towards you. And uh, um, you will find this out as you get to the end of the month. Then uh, we see an energy with the energy of the Eight of Cups. I see some of you wanted to leave a relationship and move um, on. But I see you want a new beginning. I see you want to start over. A lot of you were in love with um, a friend. This friend is a Capricorn and you want to have some sort of a new start with this person. I don't think this person is open for this new start. I think this person has um, made their decision and already move on. Okay, because if you notice, they are in the reverse. A lot of you um, are dealing with some sort of a issue um, some sort of a problems. Um, some of you could have been in a relationship with a Capricorn person. Uh, but I see that this person has moved on. Um, they are in love with a, another Earth sign person, a Taurus, Virgo, or, or a Capricorn. So um, I see that they, they, um, they have moved on and is in love with a, another Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. So... Um, you know, let it go because it's not going to happen. And a lot of people set themselves up um, for hurt in relationship because a lot of people is not aware and align that um, 
you can be in love with someone, but um, they can be in love with someone else. And I think that this is a, a problem that is going to be created for a lot of you Aries, because a lot of you Aries um, wanted to reconnect with an earth sign person, but they have already moved on. Some of you are going to be receiving some sort of a positive um your wishes and dreams is going to come true because some of you men um could have been looking for a new start with an uh aquarian gemini or libran it is going to be a yes and uh i see that this is going to be happening for you guys so as we look at the first week a lot of you wanted uh, to make some sort of a changes to end some sort of a friendship or relationship or um someone that you were seeing you wanted to make some sort of a changes in some sort of a situation and i see um that you're going to be making a, a choice uh, and putting your heart on the line and letting someone know how you feel about them and uh it is going to be a yes so, so some of you areas are really um you know have strong feelings for someone and you're going to be putting your heart on the line and letting them know how you really feel and care and it is going to be a yes in the second week what we see here is happening is that a lot of you want to end some sort of a relationship um with a taurus virgo or capricorn person is coming up as, uh, with a capricorn woman um because you realize that this person is not going to be um opening up to give you no connection whoever this person is this person have a move on with their life and they're not hoping to make any decision so i see that a lot of you um at hope that um you know the connection between you and this person um and i see that you're hoping to have some sort of a reconnection with this person but they're not open for it they're in the reverse so, so it could be a friend or a, a, a good friend or someone you used to see um, but they're not hoping for having this connection. They're not hoping for um, re-going this connection for whatever reason it is. The third week shows up that some of you have to make some sort of a decision. Um, some of you are carrying some sort of a weight at Taurus. Whoever this Taurus is and whatever that was transpiring, I see this Taurus... Um, However, it's coming up and it's transpiring. I see the stories, whoever the stories is, uh, um, you're going to be overcoming some sort of a problem that the stories had created for a lot of you. Aries, you're definitely going to be overcoming uh, this. And I see um, whatever that was transpiring, a lot of you are going to be trying to um, reconnect and heal a situation between you and a Capricorn woman. Um, but the Taurus comes in the relationship because the Taurus is in love with this Capricorn woman. And I see that some of you could have introduced this Capricorn woman to the Taurus. And all of a sudden, the Taurus is on their, her side um, in whatever that is going on. And I see that uh, um, this Taurus is going to make sure that this woman dream come true. And I think it's something that you Aries as abuse some sort of a relationship or a friendship that you had um, with a Taurus a Capricorn woman. And I see a Taurus is going to be coming in and protecting this person because they realize that you have abused a relationship or have abused this person. And this is the reason why this uh, person do not want to have any connection with you, um, with you men. Okay, so... Um, that is um, a huge problem and situation that is happening and transpiring because what is happening is that um, you're realizing that this person basically um, is holding you off because they realize that a Taurus person treat them much better than you do. So there is a whole lot of uh, um, situation where I see a lot of you Aries regrets introducing um this capricorn to the stores or the stores to this capricorn um because they have left you eye and dry and they have moved on Whew, so then <laughs> we are looking at the fourth week where a lot of you aries um 
is going to be overcoming um, some sort of a legal issue. Um, was it that um, uh, you're divorcing and it has to do with a whole lot of money? And I see that some of you areas what you ask for the from this divorce you will receive it so it's as if some of you areas are divorcing um and you're asking for a certain amount of money it is going to be um given to you a lot of you areas is overcoming some sort of a situation where um it has to do with a taurus um it can be a taurus for some of you but it can be um, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and whatever that was happening with this uh, hurt sign person um, you're going to be overcoming the situation because um, it's as if this earth sign person either invade a relationship that you have or a friendship that you have you could have introduced this person um, to a friend and this person has moved on with a friend and you were in love with this person and you're like, Jesus, um, I never expect this to happen. But, you know, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes people connect with you and then they move through a process where um, they are connecting with you on a positive note, but yet still not an intimate space. A lot of you that is open for relationships, open for meeting new people, this can be happening. Um, however this happen, this can be happening for you guys. So if uh, you are um, single and you're um, ready to mingle in this month, um, it is going to be happening in the second week, uh, uh, third week and fourth week, okay? A lot of you, um, new love offers is going to be coming in. A lot of you are going to be excited because some uh, something that you had wished and hoped for is going to be granted where it could be someone you had uh, was seen for um, quite some time is going to be taking it to another level. It could be another person who is divorcing and asks for... Um, as an, an amount of alimentation so it is going to be coming up in different different ways but it comes down to one thing you were hoping for this love this big love this new love to come in and it is now here and this is going to be a wonderful a wonderful wonderful alignment of energy because what is going to be happening and transpiring is that you are going to be facing your fears and asking someone the question and it is going to be a yes so, so this is absolutely absolutely fabulous there is no question about this this is about being opening up to love and uh, you know taking that step that you would not have taken but because you have learned what it is to, to love someone on un, um, unconditionally this opens up just new doors uh, for you guys and i see you're going to be aligning in a, a positive positive way so um congratulations aries i am wishing you a wonderful month and I will speak to you next month, but it is going to be beautiful. In order for you to see who are these the hurt sign people, you can go to the hurt sign video. Look at the bottom of the video. There's a timestamp. Use the timestamp to get to um, these hurt sign people. And I'm going to say namaste until next time. Welcome, Leahs. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is the love reading for the Leahs Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Um, if you'd like to uh, see the extended office reading, please use the link in order to get to the other side. So, um, Leah's, uh, um, for whoever is coming up in your reading, you can uh, go to there. Um, there's a state reading and look at the timestamp, and then you can see whether, um, it's in individual. Okay, so just use the timestamp. So what I'm seeing here is that true love is here for you ladies. Whatever is happening, true love is here for you ladies. Some of you ladies, a divorce is coming up. So um, some of you ladies are not happy. So um, a lot of you ladies are not happy. You can see the sadness. 
uh, a divorce has ended you're not really happy but you're going to be um, finding true love in the future it is not one of the easiest things and easiest situation I can say that but Leah's it is about you understanding that if a marriage or a relationship is not working let it go okay so whatever is happening and transpiring is that some of you Leo's um, were in some sort of a marriage or relationship it didn't work out let it go because new love is definitely going to be coming in so what is in the foundation the foundation is that some of you are dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and this is a friend and I see um, um, this person could be ending this marriage or this relationship now a lot of you women are very sour and bitter that this person is ending this marriage or relationship but it's not serving any purpose it's really not serving any purpose anymore and it's better for you to let go of this person so they can move on who are you guys dealing with in this um, month you're dealing with the uh, the Capricorns um, women um, so whoever is in a relationship with a Capricorn woman um, you're dealing with a Taurus man uh, and uh, you're dealing with a, the, the Pisces so there is a lot that is happening in this month um, so again the Pisces the Taurus men the Capricorn women um, the Pisces uh, men or women um, a whole lot of uh, issues problems is uh, transpiring so what we're looking at is that uh, a lot of you are open for a new offer with a Pisces um, a lot of you wants to reconnect with a Pisces but it's not going to happen because the Pisces is going through some sort of a divorce the Pisces is having some sort of a emotional problem because they're going through some divorce and Julius has something to do with this divorce um, does I see they're going to be going through the divorce and they're going to be leaving this situation behind so a whole lot of you Leo's are hoping up to reunite and pick up a relationship with a Pisces but they don't want um, this relationship or connection anymore okay so this man could have been married or this woman could have been married and their partner found out that you had you had a connection and um, the relationship is now going to be ending um, it can be Pisces cancer or scorpion but it can be just about anyone because these are general readings you have to go to your individual sign to find out what is transpiring because it gave more in depth I see you're overcoming a situation with a Pisces a lot of you are dealt with some sort of a, a situation with a Pisces I see a Pisces um, is ending whatever con connection with you Leo's um, and I to be honest Leo's this Pisces was always in love with a Capricorn okay so I think that some of you Leo's use love magic in order um, to pull a Pisces towards you and now the Pisces realize what you have done and their heart lays by a Capricorn person this the Pisces whoever the Pisces is their heart um, is connected to a Capricorn woman that is where uh, they their heart will flop because they realize that you Leah's had uh, pull a wool over their eyes uh, and as you some sort of a love magic to, in order to pull you in and get you to be in a relationship with 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 you but um that the capricorn was the love of their life and then you know you can see this here nine of cups and um 
this um, woman um, is a Capricorn woman. So um, a lot is happening and transpiring Leos because um, uh, whoever, man or woman, um, their hearts is no longer beating for you. And they know and they have found out that you have blocked their sight and uh, use you to acquire um, assets, materialistic wealth. And they're now realizing that um, it was it was not how it was supposed to be. They are now seeing the truth that this person, they were meant to be with this person and now they're seeing the truth. Okay, so um, anyone who wants to reconnect with a Pisces is not going to be working out because the Pisces heart is on a Capricorn. So not so much positive news, but it is what it is. So some of you... Um, women are getting divorced and you're very bitter and sour but you're going to be meeting someone soon okay so stop being so um you know hard on yourself um it didn't work out let it go because a, a new and better person is coming in so in the first week we have a some sort of a um help um, for some of you to move on. So if you're getting divorced in the first week, you're going to be receiving some sort of a help in order for a lot of you to move on. This help is going to be coming in because people are going to be really, um, uh, you know, helping you with this divorce. Um, the end is here and you're going to be moving, looking for a new place. And I see people are going to be coming in to help your family and friends. Okay. Then I see... Um, some of you realize uh, um, that uh, some of you start to reconsider if you made the right choice by divorcing someone or ending the relationship with someone. So I see in the first week, a lot of you leaders are going to be um, thinking, was this um, was this what I was supposed to do? Did I make the right decision? Is this the right decision? However, this is coming up and transpiring. I see you leaders are going to be rethinking a decision that you have made because it's as if some of you Leos realize that the marriage is now over or the relationship is now over and it's as if you can't let it go um something is happening where you can't let it go and I see you're reaching out to friends and trying to speak to friends in order um to you know deal with the issue because it's as if you can't let go what is happening and transpiring. It's as if there is too much um, that you, um, too much history you create with this person and you can't let it go. So I guess this is the reason why you can't accept the decision that you've made. I see an offer. Some of you um, could be open up and is going to be asking um, someone for a new start is this going to be viable um, a lot of you are opening up and hoping to offer a new start or ask for a new start with um, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person now it's not showing up whether it's a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn but I see a lot of you Leo so wants to reconnect with a love that you have that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn you're hoping for a new start with this person um but um as it, it could be a young Capricorn man a lot of you Leos want to reconnect with this young Cap Capricorn man for some reason it's as if you think that this is um the person for you and this person really wants to, um, or you want to reconnect with this person, but this person has closed the door. Okay. So it's as if some of you Leos was in a relationship with um, a Capricorn man. It could be a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, but it's it's coming up as a Capricorn, especially for the people with a Capricorn. And something happens and this relationship ended and it's as if you want a second chance. But they have closed the door and move on. So um, 
the hope of you having a second chance with this person is not going to be happening because they already closed the door and moved on. Okay. Um, then we are looking at uh, um, definitely um, a lot of you wants to return to a Pisces. A lot of you wants a new relationship with a Pisces. A lot of you um, wants to um, get started again with a Pisces. But um, the Pisces have their eyes on a um, Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. So whoever this uh, um this this why why this relationship has ended and why this pisces has left this relationship um the spices is not realizing that you leos have pulled the wool over their eyes for a very long time and that you were not the one for them the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn was the one for them. And I see that you're trying to come back and have some sort of a comeback with them. And they have, they have handed. They don't want a new start. If you notice, the three of ones is in reverse. And they're not looking for a new start with you because so, um, who they want to be with and who they want to reconnect with is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. So a lot of you Leos seems to be dealing with Taurus Virgo and Capricorn people. However, this is coming up. It's as if you um, Virgos are realizing what has been happening and what has been transpiring um, that uh, um, some of you um, um, have this way of making people think how or showing them that you are the one for them. But I think that whoever the Pisces is, is really psychic and the Pisces is seeing the, the veil of illusion and realize that you have uh, create some sort of an illusion for them, for them to um, have done so much things that um, they have done for you and when you were in relationships. And now they're realizing, no, no, no. Um, I was um, blindsided because my heart is by the Capricorn. So I see a lot of uh, a lot of you um, Leos, especially Leos that was in a relationship with a Pisces man or woman. Um, this person have moved on, and this person um, is now finding out that. Uh, they miss this Capricorn person or they miss this uh, Taurus person or they miss this Virgo person and they are having their sight on this person moving forward. So the offer that you want with this person is not going to be happening because they have uh, realized and found out the illusions of what was created why they end up in some sort of a relationship with you. So I see a lot of you that was um, with earth sign people also wants to reunite with these earth sign people, but they have uh, moved on. A lot of you Leos um, uh, have a best friend that is an earth sign woman. And, uh, you know, it's as if you want a new start with this person, but you only want a new start with this person because you're financially on the ground. And that is the only reason why. And I think that this person is on top of their game and they have realized what was happening and transpiring. And they're not going to give you that chance because I think that they have given you so much chance. And for some of you, Leos, you were, um, you were with this person when you got someone else's pregnant and they, I've gotten over that because they know um, they've gotten over that. But the new chance that you want with this person is not coming from love. It is coming from a self of materialistic stability. And this person knows that that is the only reason why you want to reconnect with them. And I see they have closed the door on whatever relationship or whatever connection that would have happened. They already closed the door. So, Leas, it is, um, uh, it is, um, 
it is a period where a lot of um, in, um, situation, a lot of information, a lot of situation um, is going to be happening and transpiring. And um, it is about uh, understanding that um, there is time for, you know, there's a beginning and an end to everything. And uh, this is uh, where it ends. I love you guys. If you want to see the extended of this reading, please connect with us on the other channel. Welcome, Sagittarius. I want to say thank you for being here. This is your love reading for the month of December. All right, Saggy. What is going on? So, Sagittarius, you're going to be finding out that there was some sort of a cheating and you're trying to balance this hurt and pain. Um, healing family issues, okay? Your love life benefits you to forgive your parents, but it is um, your parents, but it's also cheating. Some sort of a cheating um, in your marriage or in your relationship came out and I see forgiveness is going to be the name of the game that is going to be transpiring. Okay. So Saji, um, let's go in and see what is happening and transpiring. Oh, uh, so, um, Sagittarius, if you want to see, um, the extended of this reading, you need to, um, link up, become a member of the channel and you can, Find your own individual extended reading. This is also your own individual reading. Um, you are getting it in a collective session, but in an individual reading. Now, there is a whole lot of stuff that is going on between fire sign people and earth sign people, whatever is transpiring and is happening in this month, a whole lot of uh, um, love and relationship situations. So uh, the, you guys are dealing with the Pisces, um, the Capricorns and the Virgo, okay, and Taurus men. So, a lot of you are were in relationship with a Capricorn woman, um, or a Taurus man, or a Pisces. Uh, um, I see that is uh, coming in. So, um, let's go in. So, a lot of you are dealing with an earth sign woman. Um, this earth sign, um, some of you are dealing with a Capricorn woman, some of you are dealing with a Taurus woman. And I see that you care about this person and you want to ask this person out or you want to be with this person. But um, some of you are going to be finding out that your partner had cheated on you with a Capricorn woman or with a Virgo woman. And I see you're going to be overcoming this situation because you're trying to heal the hurt and pain of this situation. Then um, we see the energy of some of you wants to end uh, some sort of a relationship. Um, however, this is transpiring. It could have been that you want to end it or you want to end the marriage because you find out that your partner had cheated. Um, but it is the pain is so much that you are not aware and you're not sure what it is you want. So some sort of a new offer is going to be coming in, some sort of a new love offer for some of you. So whoever was looking for love, um, new offer of love is going to be coming in. Um, a lot of you are dealing with a Taurus and some of you who were married to a Taurus is going to be finding out that this Taurus had cheated on some of you. And I, some of you um, could be dealing with a father that was a Taurus that has a, um, it wasn't there or either this person was not part of your life. And I see a lot of you have to face the issue and deal with the issue because it's costing you your marriage or your relationships because um, you had no father figure. I see and some of you, a Leo is going to be offering you something. Um, some of you who um, are looking for love, a Leo could be coming in offering you love. But this Leo, uh, uh, you were in a relationship with this Leo and this this person had cheated on you. So let it go. Let it go. Just let it go. So in the first week, you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn person, some of you. Um, and uh, whatever is transpiring, um, you're trying to balance out some sort of a, um, issue, some sort of a problem. Um, some of you are dealing with a Pisces person and you're trying to balance out and work on some sort of a relationship problem with these two people. And I see um, you are not walking away from this uh, marriage or relationship. You're trying to heal 
um, whatever the problem is in this marriage or relationship. A lot of you are going to be finding out that if you are in a relationship with a um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person, they are in love with another earth sign person, which could be another Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man. Or they are in love with a Taurus man. Okay? So it's as if you were seeing this person, um, but this person is... Um, moved on and is in love with a Taurus man or this person could be seeing both of you at the same time but you're going to be finding out what is happening uh in the second week I see a lot of you are trying to resolve issues in a relationship um you're working on your relationship because you choose to stay in the relationship and not uh, um walk away so that is good. So a lot of a lot of you Sagittarian are trying to work on relationships instead of just back up and close the door. A lot of you are trying to see your partner's point of view and trying to work on issues and trying to really work on issues. Because I see that some of you realize that your partner is your best friend, but also um, the person that you want to be with and spend the rest of your life with. And I see with this shutdown and this COVID, a lot of people are, are basically understanding where they are with people in their lives and uh, the position that they um, offered and is dealing with. So that is um, good. So that is um, wonderful. So um, as we move and look at the third week a lot of happiness and joy in the week of Christmas. A lot of you are going to be spending um, Christmas with the person that you care about the most. I see that this person is going to be offering you a new lease on your relationship because I see, um, you know, you're going to be realizing, you know, this is the, the man or the woman of my dream. This is the person I really, truly wants to be wit and this is a person that I really want to create a new world with and who I want to be sharing my life with and I see a new offer is going to be coming in so some of you could ask to move in at the end of the year um, with someone you have been seeing for a while someone who you have been um, you know it could be off you could be seeing this person um, you know, for four or five years, and then this person is going to decide to ask you. And, and you know, um, a lot of you could be cheating or have a, or have been having affairs. And I see that you both are going to be giving up your partners in order um, to be together. So that is going to be good for a lot of you who have been having um secrets um affair you're going to be like deciding together with this person that you're having the secret affair with um to hand your marriage or relationship and choose for them because a lot of you like people who have been having secret affairs for four or five years um you're going to decide that yeah you know i'm not happy at home this is where I'm happy. I can't have two houses anymore. I can't see two people anymore. I'm just going to be choosing for this one person. So I see a lot of you have been staying in marriage relationship for the reason that you didn't want to make things complicated. But I see you're realizing that you don't know what the future brings. And you know that this person was meant for you, even though you're marry or in a relationship with someone else and you have been secretly seeing them and I see that you're going to be really deciding um, to end your marriage or relationship and choose for the secret admirer or the side piece chick whoever this person is because um, they are the one that makes your heart flutter. A lot of you are dealing with issues um, with a Taurus whether this Taurus is uh, a lot of you who are in relationship with Tauruses uh, are dealing with a whole lot of issue because you could find out that the Taurus had uh, um, cheated on you. And it is a hard pill for you to swallow. There is no question about it. Um, 
this pill is a hard pill for a lot of you to swallow and you're kind of like uh, realizing uh, that uh, there has been some sort of a subdue where a lot of you are finding out that your partner and cheated and I see you're trying to balance it out and it's really really trying to um forgiveness is the key I see a lot of you are saying forgiveness is the key okay let me move on with my life because I don't want to spend the rest of my life um being feeling sorry for myself and I see that um that's where a lot of you are going to be realizing how important it is uh, um, for you to let go of uh, this relationship or let go of the um, this issue where someone had totally blindsided you and has cheated on you and has brought you so much pain. So if you notice, it is as if uh, um, you could have found out about this a month or so before and you're working on this because it's... um. Um, some of these pain and this issue is coming from some sort of a father issue. And sometimes uh, um, whatever is transpiring is this father issue. Some of you um, could be finding out in the spirit that the Virgo, if you're in a relationship with a Virgo, that Virgo have cheated on you. So, um, you know, be aware of this because um, this situation is showing up and it is uh, it is as, as, as if you're going to be and so realizing what was happening and transpiring that uh, um, there was some sort of a um, or of a deceptive uh, play where you open up your heart, your mind, body and soul to this Virgo and this Virgo has uh, let you down in such a way. Um, and some of you, this Virgo is going to be um, switching it back and said, you are the one who have hurt them. Um, in so many ways, but it is a situation where Virgos are always uh, um, trying to put the blame over on someone else's. So you got to be aware of what is happening in transpiring and try and recognize, uh, recognize that, uh, you, you know, blames, Placing the blames on someone else doesn't resolve an a issue in a situation. You have to look and see what was your part in this problem. What your what was your part? How um, this issue, the situation, have affected you in your life, and what was the part that was played? So I think that this is the way how you guys have to really um, go to check out and find out and see exactly what is happening and transpiring in order to evaluate your relationships where it is going. So I see a lot of you are going to be wanting to work on your relationship. A lot of you um, friends are going to be helping you out where friends are going to be, um, you know, trying to open up doors with other people. Um, this is going to be good because it's going to be fantastic. A lot of you um, who were, um, your heart, um, you know, was open for the Taurus. I see a lot of you are going to be ending that uh, um, because you realize that the Taurus is um, either not honest or the Taurus has uh, move on um, to new grounds. But whatever is happening when it mm. comes on to love, you are going to be um, victoriously successfully overcoming any um, deceptiveness in your relationship in a game any um uh, dishonest play that was uh, done against you um by uh, you know a partner you're going to be overcoming this it's as if you're healing yourself from relationships and a hurt pains Fatter relationships needs to be worked on in um this month and the spirit. So whoever had issues with their fathers, you have to work on that relationship because um you're going to be realizing that without you working on this relationship, you can't move forward with whatever that is happening in your world. So be aware of this. I want to say thank you for being here. Remember, if you're checking out or this this uh, um Taurus man. Or the Capricorn woman, you have to go to the Earth. Um, yeah, the Hurt Love video. 
uh, earth sign love reading and look at the stamp under it you will find out where um, to pick up a year um, whether it's Taurus work or Capricorn I do love you guys please share these videos let me know how it's working out for you I gotta go namaste until next time. Ophio says uh, welcome welcome Ophio says this is um, the love readings ladies and gentlemen for the Ophio says sun moon and rising sun for the month of December all right, Ophiosis, you're going to be finding out that someone in the relationship is not really honest. So, this reading is for the people who were born the, the November 29 until December 17. You're going to be finding out some deceptiveness if you are in a relationship with a scorpion. So, a lot of you, Ophiosis, is going to be finding out that if you are in a relationship with a scorpion, the scorpion is not really honest. The scorpion is wearing a mask in the relationship and you're going to be finding out what has been happening and what has been transpiring. A lot of you Ophiosis, this um, scorpion wants a new start, but you're going to be realizing that the scorpion has two face, that they have a mask up in this relationship. Who are you dealing with? You're dealing with, with a Capricorn woman. You're dealing with a uh, Taurus man. You're dealing with... Uh, um, some sort of issues where um, a lot of you wanted some sort of a new offer. I see an Aries wants a new offer. A Aries wants to return in your life. And a lot of you are going to be really thinking about it before you make this decision. So what we see here is uh, some sort of a happiness and joy um, with relationships. You have balanced out your marriage, balance out your relationship. You're moving forward. Um, I see that some of you um, are moving forward towards someone else. Uh, it could be some of you decide to move forward um, with another person. A lot of you and Aries is coming back to offer you um, some sort of a love and want a new start with some of you. It is, um, um, it is in the powers to really choose whether or not you want to. A lot of you who are in a relationship with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person is going to be finding out that they are in love with a Earth person. So if you're in, in, in a relationship with a, um, a Capricorn man, you're going to be finding out that um, this person is in love with a Capricorn woman. If you're in a relationship with a Capricorn or with a Taurus or a Virgo man, you're going to be finding out that they're in a relationship or they are... Um, attracted or they have feelings for another earth sign person so when we look at the, the first week we see that some of you are trying to work on your relationship work on your marriage and relationship and a lot of you um, wants a new start with a, a Capricorn person so it's as if you want to open up and let this person know that you're still in love with them because I see your heart beat for this person and you're going to be opening up and letting them know. In the second week, it's the same thing where you want to regain balance with a Capricorn person. I see uh, that uh, um, you could be a cops person with a Capricorn. You were in a relationship with a Capricorn and you're realizing that that was the person that was meant for you. You're realizing that the relationship that you're in now is not giving you the satisfaction that you have been looking for i see a lot of you ophiosis is uh, open for a new start with a capricorn woman then i see in the third week a lot of you are moving forward a lot of you are turning your back on an aries person and moving forward with a scorpion but you're going to be finding out that the scorpion has not been honest so that the scorpion have uh, secrets and uh, um, it's as if uh, you um, could be also um, letting go of the scorpion. So it's, um, if you notice the energy of the three of ones is that you are moving forward because you realize uh, some sort of a relationship or some sort of a friendship or a connection that you have. A scorpion person was not really honest and the scorpion person has a mask up and you're going to be finding out about this. So the third week is as if an offer is going to be coming in and you're hoping 
to ask a Capricorn person to return um you know you love this person you realize that this is the person that was meant to for you so a lot of you are in the third week the christmas week is going to be letting a capricorn person know that they you have not let go um of the love that you share and you will always love this person no matter what is happening or transpiring so this is going to be good for a lot of you Ophiosis is that you're, um, you know, you have been thinking about this for quite some time, and you're going to be realizing that this person has, uh, um, you know, have you pull your art string in such a way, in a beautiful way that you realize that every time you see this person, is uh, you still hold this love for this person because you realize that this person is true. This person doesn't wear a mask. This person is uh, honest. So, and it's true to you. This person is someone who is always uh, um, pure in heart. And you're realizing this. So I see a lot of you in uh, um, the third week of Christmas that you could be, you know, letting this person know that, you know, if ever um, you're open um, uh, to, you know, a relationship, I'm, oh, I'm there for you. The door is not closed. The door isn't closed. So it could be for some of you, just any person that you have been um, in love with. So it could be a friend. You could have a friendship. But it's as if this week of Christmas, you're going to let this person know that if ever you wants to pick up where you left off, the door is still open. And this is going to be wonderful. So... We see a lot of you are ending relationship with a scorpion. You realize that the scorpion has lied and has uh, used you in some sort or form of way. And you realize now that uh, um, all the time you were in this relationship with the scorpion, the scorpion has not been upfront and was not honest to you. And you're going to be realizing how this uh, um, scorpion have played you big time. And uh, you're going to be feeling so um, left out in the cold because you realize that this uh, you have given this relationship and this person so much, but this person has uh, played you and, you know, create a whole lot of uh, history in your life that you didn't really need. And it's going to be realizing that this person have been um wearing a mask for all of the relationship and i see a lot of you are going to be really looking at it and thinking jesus um how could i not have seen this but you know ladies and gentlemen um what you expect for yourself is not what another person expects for you and i see that this is what you're going to be realizing how really deceptive and how really crazy that this person have uh, led you down a rabbit hole and however this is coming up and transpiring you're going to be understanding how this person has created a whole lot of issues and problems for you um that uh, have led you um in the wrong part or have let you walk down the wrong side of the road and i think that this is when you're going to be regaining consciousness of this and bringing a situation back in balance. So a lot of you Ophiosis who were, was in love with someone else is going to be realigning your energies and letting this person know that the door is never closed. You have never closed the door um, of your heart to this person. The door is still open and if they wants to reconnect with you you're always open to reconnect with them because you realize that you have a uh, um jump out or end a relationship too fast or end a marriage too fast and you're realizing that uh, um now you are understanding um what has happened and what has transpired and you're going to be trying to like patch this up or um, reunite with someone and letting this person know that hey I am still there for you if ever you want to regain um, balance and uh, 
reconnect and there for you so this is going to be a wonderful wonderful period where a lot of you are going to be realizing that you could have jumped out of a relationship and went in a relationship with someone else and now is realizing that you have made the wrong choice because this person that you got in the relationship with is having a face mask up is that you don't know um, how you sit with this person and the um, how this person has created a whole lot of problems and issue that you were not even aware of and how you're going to be balancing this out is by letting the person know that I am not closing the door or the door has never been closed. You have been the love of my life. Isn't that a beautiful, beautiful, a lot of you singles, new love is going to be coming in. So that is absolutely fantastic. A lot of you who had gave up on a relationship is going to be um, returning or is going to be opening up to this relationship and uh, showing up for people and, 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 and letting the love um, show that you have for someone and letting this person know that no matter what it is, my heart will never be closed to you. And this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous. So ladies and gentlemen, um, you know, this is a powerful, powerful month where love seems to be speaking. A lot of people, heart chakra seems to be open and especially you Ophiosis because you are the elos of this planet. You are understanding what it is to love unconditionally. And I see that you are going to be regaining a lot of balance. Uh, and this is going to be taking you to a powerful, powerful um, place in your life. So congratulations um, to you guys. I love you guys. We are going to be looking and moving on. But I, I love is the only thing that is real. And no matter what is transpired, I see that you guys are going to be recognizing um, that unconditional love is what you have for another person. That you have made a, a, a very fast split and now you're realizing that they were the one that was meant for you. I gotta go. Namaste until next time. Mm -hmm.